All right, so it's Sunday. It is hot as balls outside. Love to go to the river. Um, I think I said in the last video that I might take to the river today, but I'm not going to. Not yet, anyway. Um, what I want to try and do today is I need to get the handbrake cable hooked up. Um, also need to hook up the speedo cable. What I do need to do though to the wiring loom still, um, like I said, I've got all the coil and everything set up. I've got my condenser down there. Um, it's, it is all soldered underneath here and a spade terminal soldered on the end of there. So that's all working sweet ass, but there's no alternator. So the alternator's in there, but basically, So basically the alternator on the diesel motor was on this side, so here's the wiring here for the alternator, but on the petrol motor it's on this side, so I need to extend those lines around and into the alternator. Um, basically if I undo the battery terminal, there's no power to keep the coil going to keep spark for the motor, so it cuts out. So once I've extended these wires, to the alternator, I should be able to start it with the battery and then unplug the battery and it should keep running. So I'll go off camera and um, extend these wires and sort this out. Alright, here we are, our extended alternator harness. So it used to finish there and we've now made it sort of, what's that? Mm good couple of feet, probably like three feet longer, um, taped it all up and I believe this wire here is not for the alternator, I believe that's for the diesel oil pressure gauge, so I'm going to hook it to my oil pressure gauge and hopefully it works, although I'm not sure whether this block, whether that's just an oil pressure switch down there or whether it's an actual oil pressure sender, um, yeah, I'll just plug it in and just see what happens. Alright, now it's wired up, I'm going to fire it up with the battery connected. Disconnect the battery, hopefully the motor stays running. Yes! Alright, so the alternator is definitely working because the battery is now disconnected and the motor is still running. So, gem. See the voltmeter is just sitting above halfway around 12 volts. And it didn't go up a lot, but should have gone up to about 13, 14 volts charging volt. Yeah, that's definitely working. Gem. Shame we haven't got that rev counter going yet though, because I really want that. And I'm not sure why, but there's no temperature gauge hooked up, but it's reading like right in the middle, like um, running temperature. But there's not even a temperature gauge hooked up, so that's strange. Maybe when I hook it up, it'll start working properly. Alright, it is a few hours later. I've been bolting the fuel lines to the bottom of the cab. I've hooked the handbrake cable up. I've put a battery brace on there. Um, tidied up a few things underneath. I also hooked up the speedo cable. Uh, just put license plates on it. Shit, it's ready to go. So I'm gonna. I'm going to risk it, I'm going to go out for a little drive by myself, take the camera with me, um, hopefully it all goes pretty sweet. Yesterday I also bled the clutch, I don't think I mentioned, well I've mentioned that I was going to drip bleed it, um, or gravity bleed it by myself, that worked perfect, so the clutch is engaging sweet as now, um, or disengaging should I say, so yeah, I'll uh, tidy some stuff up and we'll take this thing for a little, well for its first drive. Finally got this beast running. Fastest it's gone in a couple of months, 40k. Well, I made it 200 meters, um, and it's lifted ticking mad. Oh, just give it a rip, mate. Sweet ass. Finally, get this thing out on the road. I'm going to give it the, the beans. Into third, 60, 70, buckets running sweet, 80. It's certainly not fast, but it is running really well. Four cylinders pumping. 
Well, made it um, 10 minutes down the road. Seems to be running sweet. So I just stopped here, make sure there's nothing leaking out the bottom of it. All looks pretty dry. It's a shame most of our rivers around here are all gated off, so I'm not sure if I'll find um, access down to a bit of a stock bank to have a play on, but yeah, people fucking littering, mate. Ruin it for everybody. Young padlock up in there. Alright, at the next river, a couple of minutes away. Got a padlock up in here? Fucking oath we do. So, this is shit, so. Tried two rivers so far and no access whatsoever. So, that's um. Bit shit. Bit shit indeed. Just around the corner though, I did find somewhere to go off-roading and I'm stoked I put those spotlights on the roof because they really help the four-wheel drive out on this green grass. Without those spotties, I would have had a shit show getting off there. So this is just what it's about though. Getting out in your four-wheel drive, having a beer and just soaking up the country, man. for as far as finding a good spot for some uh, four-wheel driving goes that was a fail but as far as first drives go I think that was a pass so it seems to be running pretty sweet I did notice it was starting to um, get a bit hesitant on idle once it had warmed up so carburetor needs some tuning or fuel filter you know but um, the build's pretty much finished you know like there's obviously going to be heaps of modifications to come like I want to do, like I said, the locked front diff, the LSD rear, which I've got on the other chassis. I also want to try my luck at, um, I also want to try my engineering skills, which is um, pretty much fuck all, and trying to make a winch bar for this thing. So I'd like to make a bar, uh, mount a winch to it, and it'll be sick. Still got to wire up the uh, spotlights. There's, there's, there's still quite a lot of jobs to do, but um, it's running, it's driving. We can go full driving in it now, we can get it stuck, we can tow it out. Fucking sick. I've also got to do the flares on this side. I did um, cheap out when I done them. Well, not cheap out, but um, I was a bit fucking lazy, I suppose you could call it, because uh, this side's got the flares on it, but um, the other side doesn't. So, I'm pretty stoked. Um, it's the end of Sunday. I'm going to go get a kebab or something. Take a couple of double browns with me for the road, and... Um, I'll be down here later in the week. What I will do is uh, get some gas, because um, I, I don't know how much uh, petrol's in this thing, and I'm pretty sure it's not a lot. But um, I'll bring some gas down later in the week, and um, maybe one night after work we'll take it to the river, and I'll actually find a river where I can get into. And um, we'll have a little play in this thing and uh, see how it goes. But um, yeah, if you're here for the first time, smash subscribe to see this thing out at the rivers and on the trails, you know, doing some uh, wheeling. And, uh, yeah, leave a comment, like, share, subscribe, fuck all that shit. Uh...